they'll be calling you a radical. This is a major, major story, and I want to talk about it. Somebody says, oh, this is so cool. No, it's not cool. This just confirms everything that I've been saying from the inception. The greatest PhD in human history. Go in denial. I don't care. I'm going to talk about this, how hardcore this is. This is the Weather Channel report. A guy fishing in Sacramento gets footage of this. They're starving to death. Now, as I walked in Taiwan, and I've documented this great Pacific genocide up and down the coast since the day it happened, including right to my in the bone marrow transplant center for 1,280 days fighting for leukemia as I got leukemia on day 200, Fukushima. The animals are confused. They're starving to death. Look, when I'm in the aquarium at Monterey Bay, she comes up to me, the old retired, Kevin, you know, they're giving birth here in Monterey Bay, the Grays. That's a thousand miles north of where they should because they know, come on you arrogant humans, please. They know they don't have enough body storage with food sources to make it all the way. So they stop and give birth there. The orcas getting chunks tore out of them by ships. They're in ship lanes that they've never been before. You see a sea lion attacking a shark. They're starving to death. This is a turtle that is a thousand miles away from home. Hello, hello, the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history, the Great Pacific Genocide. I can't believe it. As I screamed and went crazy about it, just like I should, because I'll tell you why. Hey, you out there on the road always doing what you're told. Can you help me? I mean, it's amazing. Look, it's like PhDs. And I'm going to get out my PhD. I'll be burning mine at the university. I have two PhDs. Two. You know, Jay Cohen and these guys want to talk about their PhD. Do you want to talk? Let's talk. Let's talk about my two eight PhDs right here. This whole YouTube started as my second PhD, which has evolved into probably the greatest PhD ever done in human history. Ever. Ever. You could go and argue with you because they've hijacked PhDs. What's a PhD? Peer review? Get in the club? No, no. And we talk like this. Oh, Jay just wants to tell the truth of Fukushima. What? It's all up is down, black is white. It's all lies. It's all lies. As Abraham Lincoln's great quotes, the intense argument, the fight. Jefferson Hamilton, the intense argument, the fight. The pragmatism, clear to Tipper O'Neill, all of them. You know, remember when they used to fight? Go have beers together. You know, that's the way it has to be. No, but they've hijacked. Don't raise your voice. You lose the art. So they all... Oh, you know, and they've created this club. Oh, we talk like this. That's why there's no knowledge. That's why I said there's no truth. That's why the artist has to tell it. I'm an artist. I'm an activist artist, always have been. And I want to talk about this too. As, you know, there's a reason we protested at Fox News. You think that's all coin? You think it's all coin? You know, anonymous hacks, the so-called ISIS. Well, I termed it a long time ago as the counterintelligence operation Foxconn. Now, you know what I call Operation Fox Gun, Fox News being paid to propagate the military industrialized complex. You know, and I can get into this. You think it's coincidence that I led the original Million Mass March? You think that's just coincidence? You think it's coincidence I give the original speech? You think that's all coincidence? You know, I've been at this a long, long time. You know, and the rats and the trolls that go after us. And what, I mean, they're such weaklings, you know, and we know who they are, and it's false equivalency. They've been praying on false equivalency for a long time. The Pacific Ocean is the greatest catastrophe in human history. What's going on in the Pacific Ocean right here? Right in your face. Don't raise your voice. Oh, we're a PhD. No, you're not. No, you're not. A PhD is awarded traditionally simply for this. Going into the theater and doing work in the field for at least three years. Creating a new knowledge. Creating a new way of thinking. Creating originality the greatest PhD in human history, I consider to be Michelangelo. You know, the panty painters went after him, painted over his own stuff. You know, as the artist will always see first, the artist will always lay out the great PhD, always. Picasso, you know how in fear for his life he was? Look at this quote, by, that's Michelangelo, the greatest PhD in human history. Let's talk. So in the United States, you're postured and groomed. That's what it is, nuclear lies. That's a brilliant Indian, famous, famous from India, 
artist activist, filmmaker. That's who I stayed with. I stayed in a house and an apartment where people were dragged out and murdered. On the road that Hitler freaking walked right down. The plaque's right there. I stayed in an apartment, beautiful, old, incredible place, where four of them were dragged out and gassed. You know, you spin everything. You know, you leave the United States, you go to Austria. I was at Freedom Eyes of Blair's house, maybe the greatest human rights activist of our era, of our time. Definitely the greatest anti-nuclear activist. And, and so you so-called PhDs, go, go at her. Go at her. Go at her. I said to her house. She, she's the one that talked to me. She's Kevin. Don't you dare back down. You're it. You're it. She nominated me for the Alternative Nobel Prize because she knows that's been captured. This woman had to crawl on her hands and knees, lived in the town of Hitler, wrote a newsletter at 1314, had to sneak out of town, starve to death, had to hide, was worked inside the IAEA, exposed, shut down the reactor two weeks before it was going to be fueled. They shoot movies in there. The greatest anti -de She'll burn a hole, right? She's 88. The same age as Michelangelo. You know, he said, you know, they went at him so hardcore. They panty panting me. They did everything. You're not PhDs. Jay and these guys, they have the right to lie. Of course, everybody has the right to lie in the United States if you want to lie. But you can't handle it. You, you've fallen for it. You masquerade in hairspray and you think this is all a lie. I mean, well, again, Ken Buser says all right. There's nobody studying. So he's saying he's peer review. Look, please. You know, I have the right to do, well, not the right, I have the do, and I'm the greatest PhD ever told. You want to compare, P let's do it right here. My PhD was awarded to me by the number one professor in the world, bar none, unarguable, unarguable. That's my undergraduate degree. He's got leukemia, by the way, right now. You know, Clyde died of my aunt cow. That's the only ones that graduated in that program. Of course I got a fight with him. It's the University of General Electric. They've been hijacked since his death. That PhD was awarded to me in finance. My second PhD, you've been able to watch it right here. Post ignorance. You think that's a coincidence? I gave the original speech for the Million Mask March. You think that's coincidence? So you can go to John Anthony's website, Million Mask Movement. He's organizing the Truth Fest. You know, and I'm involved in that. You know, he's going to be putting some stuff together. It's going to be a major, major event. We're going to do it right where Woodstock was. You know, he's going to get some sponsors to sponsor it. That's his gig. He's raising that. You know, I'll be speaking there. A lot of people will be speaking there. You know, our counterintelligence, if you only knew. You only knew who I'm involved with, what I'm with. On the, we're on the right side of every issue. We have no political affiliation. I have no political affiliation. I have no, you know, I, I, I have no reporting to anyone. I'm an L leukemia. I fight for the people with leukemia. You know, I run into a guy today and he has a sticker on his window. Fuck cancer. You know, the people that are originated, you know. I says, we got have to go out to people of the causation. You know, cancer changed me? No, it just made me more intense. You know I was up to this long before I freaking got cancer. You know, I'm not going along. Hey, you, out there on the road, always doing what you're told. Oh, hell no, not me. You can't handle the truth. You don't want the truth. This is the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. This is the greatest event in human history. This turtle floating up there? Are you kidding me? Are you that blind? Because academia's cat. They are not PhDs. They are not PhDs. They are not PhDs. They are not. Traditional PhD is awarded for three years of work in the field. You know. You don't even know what that means. Right, right. Circling the red flag. Because they won't teach you that. That's the French Revolution. Huh. Wow. It's so sad. You know. I'm very disheartened because no one cares. I've told this in such Cassandra-like, incredible from day one, from day one. You know, everyone pulled back on me. No platform, because I'm way too hot to handle. I have connections inside the New York City museum establishment. Oh, I mean, I can get into it in San Francisco, mama. Oh, do I have ties. 
They blackballed me. Simply. Simply. Because they don't want the truth exposed. Nobody wants the truth exposed. I mean, I told it in exact, hardcore, incredible detail. You don't want the truth? You can't handle the truth? Well, I've got news for you. It's the fucking truth. Cordial conversations are dangerous. Passion and tell you arguments get results. That's my line. And that's spoofed off Abraham Lincoln's line. You know? Oh, hi. Jay just wanted to tell the truth about Fukushima. The Koch brothers bought PBS. Go in front of the Metropolitan. And these are not my words. Let's go to talk to her at the Whitney. The curate at the Whitney. She says they are nothing but branded freaking corporates corporations. Salads are burned as MoMA pass. You know who the people are approaching? You go to my site, you know who that is? You realize who that is with me? That's Dennis Oppenheim's son, Eric. Are you kidding? <laughs> you know, neo-feudalism data. Abalco. I can't believe it. The intellectual community thing, you know, Vice comes up and interviews me and does such a panty painter job, you know, at least they talk to me. You know, PBS interviews me and backs out. I mean, I'm way too hot to handle. You know, so was Warhol, the bastard son of Deschamps. I love Deschamps when he says, I love how you guys call to me now when you wouldn't even talk to me. You didn't give a shit about me for 30 years. You know, Herman Melville, died unknown, poor. Night Watchman on Fall Street, the greatest novel ever written. Michelangelo, they panty painted over all his freaking work. You know, it's like, oh, the boxes they lined up of Andy's. Oh, that guy told me that oh, Andy died poor. Died poor. He was a billionaire. One of the richest people on the face of the earth. I mean, up is down, black is white. Oh, he just wanted to tell the truth of Fukushima. I told the truth of Fukushima. The greatest truth ever told in human history. In the spirit, holy Moses, 2015. Michelangelo. That's when he finished it. You know, the panty painters, the diaper painters, all of them. He got it. He was in fear for his life. He was in fear for his life the whole time. You know, they went at it. You don't think the rats, the trolls, the panty bear went after him? I've told this at exact, and confirmation coming now. I haven't had one, I'm sorry, Kevin. I haven't one, thank, I have lots of thank yous from our crowd. Not one, not one. As Arnie Gunderson in the early days, I have his emails told me, no, Kevin, you're wrong. You know, the explosions, no, I'm not wrong. You know, all these events, Chris Busby, no, you're wrong, Kevin. Helen Caldecott, no, you're wrong. All of them, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. No, I'm not wrong. You know, I'm an artist. The greatest PhD ever done. You know, it's simply this. This is what it is, and this is another artist. This will be my protest on Friday, and I don't care if I'm the only person on earth that does it. The non-conception is I invented Yellow and Black Friday. I've invented so much stuff through this genre. You know, hundreds and hundreds of things I've invented, I've created. A new knowledge, a new way of thinking, the greatest PhD ever done. You know, this greatest genre in human history. Boom. That's what it is. That's another artist. Incredible artist. This is my place. This is my place. You know, my grandfather was named Christian Anderson. He was adopted by a polygamist named Blanche. That's how I have that name. The little kid goes to the mosque and gives the money. I'll post it right here. Have you ever read The Emperor Has No Clothes? Have you ever read it? Have you ever read it? You ever read freaking Uncle Tom's Gambit? Have you ever read it? <sighs> Apparently not. Boy, did I name it the right genre. Post ignorance someday, not today. Ignorance is killing us. Oh, hi. There. I've documented this in hardcore detail. I, I hypothesize it like artists do. And I was right. 100% right. Bringing star power to Earth. The animals are confused. The animals are starving to death. And it's told right in your face. The emperor has no fucking clothes. When I was in Denmark, I tracked down, you know, my family. You know, I come from Polygamous family. Right there. His name was Christian Anderson. Related to Hans Christian Anderson. I proved it. You know, I dug in because the Danes do such great work. And thank you to Dan in Copenhagen for thing. I got chased out of Geneva. Very scary. Very scary. There's a lot of people hiding in Vienna right now. I want to tell you that. Because India is killing anti nuclear And you think that this, oh, it's not about, and it's just the establishment movement in the United States and the North, the North American talking point. Go to Austria. It's very different. 
They understand the anti-nuclear actions. They understand the intensity. As Frida told me, right, the greatest anti- By the way, she was born on 311. Can't make it up. No cursed spite that I was ever born to set this right. I was at Hellsinger, at Hamlet's camp in Hellsinger, Denmark. I was there. Did videos you cannot see because you never read Hamlet. You never read Uncle Tom's Cabin. You never read freaking Hamilton. Freaking Spartacans go. You know, it's a Greek tragedy. <laughs> it's much more than a Greek tragedy. You know, you don't understand the thesis of Hamilton. Oh, Margaret Thatcher on the tent, 40 asleep on balcony. You don't get it. You can't understand it because I named her right. Post ignorance. My place, my time. The emperor has no fucking clothes. I can't believe it. It's dying right in front of your face. I told it this is the greatest PhD in human history. My PhD was awarded by the greatest finance professor in history. My second one, here it is. Here it is, the greatest PhD ever done. You hypothesize, then you go out in the field and you do the work and you prove it. That's what I've done. I bet I've walked the entire coast of California, most of Oregon. Walked it. I mean, walked it. You know, all over in Vienna, protesting the IAA. You know, all over Europe, protesting the World Health Organization. Got chased out by security. Very scary. Very scary. Hiding in Vienna. Got very scary. You know, lead the Million Mass March. I mean, like I said, I, we have counterintelligence going. Like I said, I've been at this a long time. I'm connected with a lot of people. Now, this year, too, you know, you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. Time will freaking establish my place in time and that I tried. But like Michelangelo, it took a long time, man. It's very sad. This turtle floating up at the river in Sacramento, my God. Oh no, how cool. It's not cool. They're starving to death. The Pacific Ocean is dying. Fukushima's killing it. You know, the red sun. Oh no. Gamma rays. It's Livermore. We'll tell you straight up. Any nuclear physicist who has any real clue will tell you. We don't understand this heat source that's coming off there. We don't even understand it because it's never happened. It's that powerful. See how powerful the sun is? Give you cancer from 93 million miles away. Bring you star power to Earth. That's what I protested at Livermore on day 1000. Very scary. Got chased out of there. Very scary. Very scary. The places I go and do, and I don't break the law. I'm right on. I mean, I've been all over, in the energy solution side. Catch the cows, I mean, you think, there's like a hundred PhDs that I've done in the last four years. Wife cancer, leukemia, inside the bone marrow transplant, fighting for my life, doing with us with plate accounts of 30. Wow, wow, sleeping on park benches in shit ass hotels all over, walking my ass off. Wow, wow, the emperor has no fucking clothes. This is my place, this is my place. I love this place. Let me show you something. Look at his grandparents' houses. My house. Grew up right there. Yeah, that's the greatest thing. As long as down here. I used to walk up that canal holding hands with Everett Ruiz. Holding hands with him. You don't even know who Everett Ruiz is. Well. Well. Nipper has no clothes. Stay in tune.